morning. Santa has been here. And upstairs, you all sleep the peaceful rest of wonderful childhood. You're innocent angels of circumstance, growing even as you lay in your beds. Innocent angels of human putty to be molded into strong, useful adults or into spoiled, wasted refuse. You all have a pretty good idea that Santa is only a name. It may be just another name for love, or the possibility still exists that Santa could be real flesh, just as you are. As I look at the abundance of joy Santa has left for each of you, I wonder if he represents the love, the affection, the guidance we want him to offer. Or if he's a bearded front for status symbols and misjudgment. Every toy, every joy from Santa's bag was carefully selected for each of you as something special to please and delight your eager minds, souls, and bodies. Mother and I splurged and spent money that would have been comforting in the bank. We spent with wanton glee because our love for each of you is so deep and so wonderful. We wanted to please you. But love sometimes causes over-attention that leads to an utter lack of appreciation on the parts of receivers. Maybe we live in a world of too much abundance of material things. The dollar value of your Christmas probably totals more than the dollar value of Mother and Dad's first ten Christmas holidays. The money isn't important. We bought for you because we love you so much, because we want to see you happy and have fun. Only the future will tell if our gifts brought the pleasure we wanted for you or the contempt that is sometimes spawned by overindulgence. We both pray we'll have the wisdom to guide you to adulthood in a proper, strong manner. We pray you four angels of circumstance will accept our love and guidance for its parental value, not its material worth. Sleep. Grow strong.